Today, I'm going to show you how I took my game from this to this. Also, if you watched the last video, you know I made my audience a special promise. Stick around to find out what it was. In my last devlog, I showed you the game I'm currently working on. It's called Project Metal until I think of a good name. Project Metal is a Sokoban-style pushbox puzzle game inspired by an old game called Professor Fizzwizzle. Your goal is to clear a path to the exit by pushing around these obstacles. When we last left off, I was in the middle of finishing up several mechanics I wanted to add to the game. I've since incorporated most of these, plus some extras. There are now magic potions in the game. We have a fire potion, a water potion... No wait, I guess that's just a regular bottle of water. Huh. And we have a potion that creates a vertical path for the player to climb. It will probably end up being a beanstalk, like in Jack and the Beanstalk. Another object is this enchanted glass block that breaks after it falls. It then makes a magic lift. Unlike a ladder, pushing boxes and barrels into the magic lift will cause them to lift up. Another object I added is the cloud block. It disappears after you cross it, creating a path that can only be used once, so you'd better be clever. I also added ice and mud terrains. Mud is harder to move through, and ice lets things slide around. Once I had these mechanics in place, I whipped together a quick menu and level select screen. It still needs some work, I guess. Maybe just a bit. Once I had a functional menu, I started on the game's artwork, or graphics as some might call it. The very first thing I drew for the game was the animation for the player character. It was a bit of a challenge. At first, I couldn't get it to look right, but I found that really focusing on the motion and simplifying the form until I had the motion right helped a lot. Here's what the character looks like in the game. I like that he kicks things around. Next, I started adding other game assets. Here are some before and after pictures. The wood box. The wood barrel and these other barrels. The rune gate. The cloud block. So after all of this, I started adding in some particle effects. There are several objects in the game that use them. We have the rune activators and the corresponding rune stones, the level exit, and the teleport, which I quite like. I also added some to the glass block. The potions also use particle effects, like the fire here. The water does this thing where it spins around. I might change that, but I also kind of like it. What do you think? I'm still in the middle of adding the art, so watch out for the next devlog to see what else I add. I'm planning on working on the ground and ladder tiles and the backgrounds next. There are also a few other things that need art, such as the magic potions and the beanstalk. Now don't forget that I made you a promise. When this YouTube channel reaches 5,000 subscribers, I will personally drink 5 raw eggs. If you want to see it, you should like this video and sub to this channel. I feel sick just thinking about it. Thanks for watching.